Hello viewers. Welcome to DB Tutorials. Today we are discussing about database logging in DB2. Database logging is an important part of your highly available database solution design because database logs make it possible to recover from a failure and they make it possible to synchronize primary and secondary databases. All databases have logs associated with them. These logs keep records of database changes. If a database needs to be restored to a point beyond the last full offline backup, logs are required to roll the data forward to the point of failure. There are two types of loggings in DB2 database. Circular logging. Archive logging. Circular logging is the default behavior when a new database is created. The LogArchMeth1 and LogArchMeth2 database configuration parameters are set to off. With this type of logging, only full, offline backups of the database are allowed. The database must be offline, inaccessible to users, when a full backup is taken. As the name suggests, circular logging uses a ring of online logs to provide recovery from transaction failures and system crashes. The logs are used and retained only to the point of ensuring the integrity of current transactions. Circular logging does not allow you to roll a database forward through transactions performed after the last full backup operation. All changes occurring since the last backup operation are lost. Since this type of restore operation recovers your data to the specific point in time at which a full backup was taken, it is called versioned recovery. Archive logging is used specifically for roll forward recovery. Archived logs are log files that are copied from the current log path or from the mirror log path to another location. You can use the LogArchMeth1 database configuration parameter, the LogArchMeth2 database configuration parameter, or both to allow you or the database manager to manage the log archiving process. Taking online backups is supported only if you configure the database for archive logging. During an online backup operation, all activities against the database are logged. After an online backup is complete, the database manager forces the currently active log to close, and as a result, it is archived. This process ensures that your online backup has a complete set of archived logs available for recovery. When an online backup image is restored, the logs must be rolled forward at least to the point in time at which the backup operation completed. To facilitate this operation, archived logs must be made available when the database is restored.